Hi. Good evening. Welcome back to Bedtime Stories. Last week, we were talking about bears and how bears like to cuddle up warm in their dens and sleep all winter long. Well, this week I have another story about bears going to sleep for the winter. A lot of bears. This time we have little kid bears and each of those little kid bears has a special dream to think about. So you ever do that when you're not, when you can't quite sleep, you're not falling asleep. I always like to imagine a happy story. A happy story, it doesn't have to be a story from a book, but something that you would like to do maybe, or something involving your favorite characters. Something that makes you feel happy to imagine. And then maybe those imaginings can turn into your cozy, cozy dreams for the night. Okay, Bear, are you ready? Tonight we've got Sleepy Bears. Sleepy Bears by Mem Fox, who is not a fox or a bear. She's a person, a person from Australia. And, and she wrote another book called Possum Magic, and the, it comes with recipes that are really yummy, by the way. Anyway, that's a by Ben Fox, illustrated by Carrie Argent. The days were growing darker and colder. Mother Bear shivered and called to her children, Come in, come in, my beautiful bears. Winter is here, and in winter we sleep. Quick question. Speaking of Mem Fox being from Australia, do you know when it is winter in Australia? It's when it's summer up here in Pennsylvania. Who would have thunk it? Because it's in the southern hemisphere of the world. And and when when the the north part of the world is in wintertime, the, the bottom part is in summertime. And then back when the north part is in summertime, it's winter in the southern part. Funny, huh? Anyway, back to the story. Winter is here and in winter we sleep. Bedtime already, cried the bears as they tumbled inside. Oh yes, said Mother Bear, but there's plenty of time for your own special rhyme. If you climb into bed and snuggle in tight without any fuss and without any fight. So the little bears jumped into the soft feather bed and pulled up the covers as fast as they could. Baxter Bear was the sleepiest. He yawned. A bear. Yeah. Mother Bear kissed his sleepy head and said, Sleep, my darling pirate. Let your dreams come true. Battle other pirate ships with your fearsome crew. Raise the skull and crossbones. Breathe the salty air. Find your treasure, count your gold, and sleep without a care. Baxter Bear fell fast asleep, dreaming about being a pirate. And look, now he's wearing a pirate hat. Then Mother Bear said, now who's the sleepiest? Who will be next? Bella Bear yawned. Oh, bear. Yawned. Mother Bear kissed her sleepy head and said, Close your eyes tightly. 
The circus is here. You swing up and down and the crowd gives a cheer. You guide through the air with incredible ease for you are the star of the flying trapeze. Sawdust is swirling and lanterns are bright. Sleep, little dreamer. Be happy tonight. And Bella Bear fell fast asleep. She's wearing her costume. Then Mother Bear said, now who's the sleepiest? Who will be next? And Winifred Bear got a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed her sleepy head and said, dare double dare. Where is the tiger asleep in his lair? You creep through the jungle while old chimpanzees chatter and roar from the tops of the trees. A tiger, a tiger, you're on his trail. A tiger, a tiger, grab hold of his tail. Dream of adventure, dream without care, and sleep very soundly, my brave little bear. And Winifred Bear fell fast. I sleep. Yep, and she was wearing her, her jungle hat. The mother bear said, Now who's the sleepiest? And Tosca bear yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed her sleepy head and said, Sleepy head, sleepy head, eyes so green, travel through kingdoms where you are the queen. A crown of diamonds for your head and gorgeous gowns of silk and thread, a splendid throne, castles grand, and you adored throughout the land. And Tosca Bear fell fast asleep. Oh, she's sleeping in the ground now. Then Mother Bear said, Now who's the sleepiest? Who will be next? Ali Bear yawned. A big yawn. Mother Bear kissed his sleepy head and said, Ali Bear, Ali Bear, tummy all tight. Dreaming of scrumptiousness all through the night. Chocolates, candy, sugar, and spice, ices and syrups, and everything nice. And Ali Bear fell fast asleep. Mmm. What a good thing to dream about. And Baby Bear yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear smiled and said, I know who's the sleepiest. I know who's next. She kissed his sleepy head and said, Sleep, my sweetheart. Sleep, my bear. Your cradle swings in the evening air. Moonbeams touch your precious face and stars float by with gentle grace. Sleep, my sweetheart. Have no fear. Sleep, my darling, for I am here. And guess what happened? Both baby bear and mother bear fell fast asleep in their soft feather. All of them slept until spring. You don't have to sleep quite that long tonight. Just long enough to get you to the morning light. So cuddle up tight. 
just like a bear in your den. Stay warm tonight, and I'll see you next week.